So here we are in Windows 10. We're going to take a look at the photo app. So we're down here to the start button and you'll see it's have the new menu system in. And uh, my photo app is here right next to people. So I'm going to click on that and it brings up the photo app in the new Windows 10 format for the Windows for Desktop. You, you can have it configured differently for your laptop to use this, the old uh, start screen. But here we are, you'll notice it comes up with uh, a left menu area and a right content area. You can minimize the left menu by clicking like that or like that. Uh, the first area that comes up is collection and you'll notice it's sorted by date taken for these photos. This one was done in January 2015. These down here were in October 2014 and they were arranged, the dates of the photos range from 10-1 to 10-5. There's a total of seven photos there. So continuing down the menu, we look at the next section, which is albums. And as you can see here, it's not quite done yet in this particular version of the technical preview of Windows. But it looks like you'll be able to share family with, um, share albums with families and friends. Folders looks like it's going to be the same usual folder collection. Now some people store by date like this. Or you might want to name your folders different things. The send feedback and feedback games are probably more going to be in this uh, technical preview. They may or may not be uh, in the final version. But let's go down to settings, which we want to talk about. The first thing we see here is automatically enhance my photos when they can be improved. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. You know, to turn it, you can turn it off or to leave it back on. Uh, I'm going to leave it on for now. But when photos have online duplicates or digital negatives, just show one. So you can turn that off uh, in case you have a, a copy on one drive, one here. What I like is this photos tile. If you notice when we open up the menu, my tile here for photos has a, a snapshot of a photo, which I'm not always recognized as being my tile for photos. Well, they give you the option now over here to say, assign a single photo. And it brings up a dialog box that you can go out and choose a photo that you want. I'm probably going to use that later on. The last thing to note here is the sources which are using your directory that you have for your user and the public access as well. Along with, it'll, it'll grab the stuff if you're logged into OneDrive. If you have a Microsoft account, it'll grab the photos from there. Which is handy because when I take a photo with my Windows phone, it, I have it set to automatically upload to OneDrive. Uh, and then it'll appear here without me having to move anything. Uh, pretty handy. So, so now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the program. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the photos that came with Windows 10. And I'm going to scroll down here. And these are the sample photos that came with Windows 10. As you can see, it loaded it up there when I clicked on it. Now you can browse through your collection even if after you've loaded it up by simply using those arrow keys. But you notice there's icons at the top. Now after a while, they'll disappear to get out of your way. Just click to have them restored. The first thing is that's the date of the photo. Let's go back here and go back. And you'll notice that we went back to this collection here. So you, that's how you can navigate back and forth. The next thing you can do is, oh, is there's icons up here for, this is a share. So I click over here and you see that shared from photo app. I can sit there and say one photo. So if I sit there and uh, use that share functionality, I can choose whatever program allows sharing, you know, uh, that you have set up on your computer. I can send it to Facebook or Twitter if you're linked up to those things. But I'm going to click on Mail here just for an example, and it brings up my Mail account that I have configured here. And you'll notice it automatically attached to the photo, and it says Shared from Photo App, and you can just change all that. You can put your information in and do those things that you would normally do uh, to send it out. So that's how quick you can send it out to a Mail uh, user. So that's the... Uh, the first share option. Okay. Above that, there's a slideshow button here, which automatically starts a slideshow of your photos in this as well. And you give it a second here, and it goes into that. I clicked on it to stop it, so that's okay. Now, here's the automatic enhance. It doesn't have any parameters. It doesn't have anything at all. It just attempts to enhance. Now, this photo was pretty good when it came in, of course, with the system. So, anyways, uh, if I enhance it, it darkened it a little bit. I can unenhance, unenhance it as well. The next item is to edit, and we're going to go into that in a second, but I'm going to skip over here to rotate. And the reason I do that is to rotate inside of edit as well. But if this one here is just trying to get the picture out to somebody, and maybe it's, it's you shot it at a side angle with your camera, you want to rotate, you can just quickly click here to rotate your image uh, to whatever you want to do. 
And then you can do that share thing that we talked about over here. So now let's go back into the edit mode over here. And now you see it brought up a lot of different dialogue, uh, or not dialogue, but a new uh, interface to do a little more advanced editing. So the first thing we're going to look at is the basic fixes, which are already highlighted. The same enhance button over here, you click on it, it darkens it a little bit. There's an undo function up here. Okay, so we go there. Uh, there's that rotate again. And again, you can undo that and you rotate that. It's not a granular rotate, it's a 90 degrees, so that's it. That crap's pretty nice. You just uh, want to be able here to move this around to whatever you want to do to get the picture cropped the way you want it. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of that for a second. But you can also crop and use this setting up here to go to, you want to make this your lock screen because you like this photo. Uh, you want to go square. You want to go widescreen. You want to move it over here. You can go back to your original. Uh, we're going to cancel out of that as well. By the way, there's a description for these icons up here. If you click over here, you'll see you can bring up the descriptions of these icons if you forget them. Uh, let's go to straighten. Love straighten. If you lose this, use this. You find out that you have that little uh, photo that's a little cockeyed. You want to uh, straighten it out. Uh, you can do that. And again, we're going to use the undo to bring it back to normal. Now, next is red eye. Now, red eye we all know about. But let's uh, let's zoom in on this picture here. Drag it. Let's pretend this guy has a little red eye. And you would see red eye here. Hover over it. Click on it. And we would apply the fix to remove the red eye. Uh, let me go back out again. And lastly, under basic edits, is retouch. Again, we actually should go zoom back in again. Let's say uh, this young lady here had a blemish on her skin or something, and we wanted to smooth it out. We just would click around until it smoothed in all the area around there. Uh, so that's the retouch function. So after retouch, we come down here to the filters. Now, in sophisticated uh, editing programs, little editing programs, these all have names of what they are. They don't even bother with the names here. They just You just click on it and see what you like. Lightens it up a little bit. Gives a bluish kind of tinge, a more yellowish tinge, a grayish kind of thing. Takes all the color out. So just choose one you think was uh, what you want to have for your photo before you say save and send it out. So let's undo all that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the original. The next one down is light. And of course, here's your brightness control. You just scroll it that way, scroll it that way. Uh, very nice. Now, I'm doing one with my fingers. You can't see the mouse cursor move. I'm doing it with my fingers to show that they're touch enabled as well. If you go over here to, let me undo the brightness changes. Go over to contrast, and we drag that around. Drag darker or lighter uh, until you get what you like. Highlights are cool. Highlights are where you would uh, you see around the people. You changes. I see how the guy uh, right in this area is glowing sort of around here. It automatically does some highlighting. Shadows is really uh, nice as well. It does the same kind of thing. But you see how it brightens up around certain things. So we're going to go back to the original again. Next is color. Temperature color temperature changes the color temperature basically. Tint is actual color changes. There's a greenish tinge. There's a orangish or pinkish tint. And you can play with that till you get what you like. Again, you can use any of these in combination. Saturation. Smoke in the colors. Really bright. Everything's bright. Or everything's gone. A little pale. And color boost is really nice. Is that you just drag your little icon over here. Oh, you know what? Let me go back and put all the stuff back. Let's go to color boost. Put that over his shirt. You see how the, the dot turns the color inside there. And I can increase that color of his, his shirt. I can decrease it, take it out. You see it's gray now. and Or I can make it pop. I can also move it somewhere else. For example, this guy over here. And take his gray out. He remains popped color over here. Same thing over here. I can make him pop a little bit. And that's how you use that, that functionality there. So let's get out of all that. Okay, lastly is the effects. Got two effects. Vignette. You can have a light vignette, which puts a smoky kind of thing around it. You can have a dark vignette, like that. Now, it's like the focus is really nice. You notice that everybody is in focus until you click on it. Now these people are out of focus. You move this over here. 
stretch it to where you want, create a little focus area, and the people out of focus. You can increase it over here for stronger, and they're even more out of focus. And you can accept or decline that. Now, if you accept that, you can still go in over here to vignette. Let me go this way. And now I have this out of focus, darkened vignette with these people. Excellent. This is what I want to send to my friends and relatives. So how do you do that? Well, if you click over here, you'll see that there's a compare, first of all. So if you, if you, if you click on compare and hold it, you see the original, and you see what it is now. You can save a copy or update the original. I'm going to go ahead and say save copy. And there we are. So uh, that allows us to uh, have a copy of the photo and not ruin the original in case it doesn't come, quite come out the way we want. Uh, lastly, there's a, one more area we can do. You can do delete here. Okay, but if you click on here, you'll notice there's some more information here. So we got hidden away. There's file info, for example. And you can see the exact date of the file, size, and all that kind of thing. You can right-click to uh, get back to your screen. Okay, and then we can say set as lock screen. So if you like it says your lock screen, you can just click on it, and boom, it becomes your lock screen. Now. There's no way to undo that from here. You'd have to go back into your PC settings to undo it. And by the way, if you click on it, it doesn't ask any more permission. It just goes and does it. Lastly, there's print. And all that does is brings up a print dialog box for those of you who still like to color print stuff. There's your color printer. Okay, you can get more settings. You can get advanced settings and all that from your, from your printer. So you can change your color, DPI, all the usual things you want to do. But you have a preview box here. So we're going to go ahead and say cancel out of that. We're not going to use that as well. But there you are. There's a quick walkthrough of the Windows uh, Photo app. Uh, it has some nice new features uh, built in. Uh, more to come later. But at least you see that you, when you're going about town and you're doing stuff and everything, you don't have to bring up an editor to do it. You can just do some quick things off to the relatives or to Facebooks or Instagram, make some adjustments, cut, crop, whatever you want to do, and uh, send it out, share it out really easily. Uh, again, Windows 10 preview here. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. We have uh, videos on Windows 8, actually Windows 10 now, Windows Phone 8, and some general how-to. Uh, so click on subscribe link and uh, come join us for an exciting look at all the new features in the various versions of Windows.